Well, we started the company back in 1978. It was small things, a little siding on or replacing a door or something like that. But at that time, we were starting our family as well. As we was raising the children, they would work for us in the summertime, even through high school. I'd send them right out on the job site with the men, helping dig ditches or pour concrete or put roofing on. He would continually you know, drive in, having a good work ethic, being honest, being respectful, doing what's right, those values that he has set as he repeated to us and driven into us to say, you know, this is what we're going to stand for um, as Yoders. This is what we're going to do. Yeah, there may be core values on a piece of paper, but it was more taught through dad and his work and the way that he dealt with customers, how he dealt with employees. That integrity and honesty is re very real to us. It's not something that we just put on a piece of paper and for everybody to see, like, yeah, I wonder if they really are. No, like, we do things right. We do what we say we're going to do. Uh, and we do it to our best of our abilities and the little things matter, the little details do matter. And so it's taking care of and following through on the little things. You know, it's something that we were able to uh, witness and see every day. This is who our dad is and this is, how, you know, this is how he's running his company and we need to continue um, that reputation and, and these values. Because of the product that we gave them as well as the integrity and the quality as well as how we conducted ourselves on the job. We've got companies today that we still work for that we worked for 40 years ago when we started. We talked with the boys all through the years about the business. I told them, you know, we work a lot of hours in our lives. You need to do what you love to do. And that doesn't mean you have to do work for me. I always told them the door is always open if that's what you want to do, but I want you to do what you love to do. But then when they went to go to college and get their degrees, they all got degrees in areas that would be beneficial in the construction business, from architectural to engineering and those kind of things. And I loved watching the boys fall in love with working with the customers, to watch that grow and to hear them make comments how much they enjoy that. So in July in 2019 is when we made the official transition from my wife and I owning the business to the boys, the three boys owning the business. There's nothing better than someone you have a good relationship with coming and saying, I, I don't know what we need. I don't really know. All I know is we have a problem with this. How can you help with it? And then coming up with a solution for it and then being extremely thankful for it. In the end, I want our clients, the community, and everybody that we interact with to know us as a, a family company that's going to be honest with you, that's going to do the right thing, that's going to, you know, our goal is to give you a, uh, a good product. And we want you to be, want to call us back the next time you have something uh, that needs to be done. The wonderful thing about that is having three siblings in a family business that was started by our father is that our goals and dreams and what we see this growing into, we're all on the same page and moving in the same direction. All three of us, while we have some unique personality traits, we're kind of all cut from the same cloth, and so can't imagine working with, with anybody else but my brothers. It, it really works out well.